Hi everyone, Anshuta Desai. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In the previous video, I explained how we can make a post call for static payload. But today we will learn two different approaches to make a post call in case of a dynamic payload. So the first approach is using utility functions, which are available in KSX. And the second one is using the Faker.js library. So what I will do, I'll be using the same API, which I used previously for the post API call, which is a users API. So let me show you that API first. So this is this API in which I have passed static name and job. But what if I want to pass the random name every time whenever we make a post call? So in that case, we can make use of these two approaches. So let's go to our editor and start writing the code for it. So I've already created this basic template, which I have used in the previous video as well. The first we are importing HTTP so that we can make a post call. Second one is we are importing check because we want to perform some test validations. Fine. The next thing is the options object where are, we are passing the load details, like how many virtual users we want to pass and what is the duration we want to keep. The other thing is the URL. So for today's video also, I'm going to use the same API. So I'll keep it like this URL. Then the next thing comes our payload. In this payload, you can see we have a static name and job. So for a dynamic payload, what I want, I want this name to be generated dynamically every time when we make a post call. So first thing is we have to import utility function from K6. So I'll be using the random string. For that, what you have to do, you have to write import statement like this because I'm going to use random string utility function. So that's why I've imported over here. Next step is in the name, what you have to do, I will change the name and I will use over here a random string and inside it, you can pass the length of the string. For example, if you want to pass the name with the length as eight, so you can pass it like this. So now this will generate your random name every time whenever you make a call. So now the next step is the default function where we are actually calling our post call. So this is HTTP dot post. Uh, we have already seen this in the previous video. If, if you've not watched, I would suggest you to watch that first because over there I have explained how we can make a post call. So I'm just passing the URL, which is this URL and then the payload. And I'm also printing the payload and our response body. So what I will do, I will also perform some test validations. So for that, I will use check over here. So what I will do, I'll pass my response because we are storing the response over here. And then inside it can pass the description. So first one is let's pass it as status code validation and then checking the response status code is 201. And next one, we can check if our response contains that ID or not. So over here, we can see in the response, we have ID, which is getting generated every time. So we can check that also. So here I will write it like this response validation. And now because we are going to check the body, I will be using response dot body. And we will check if it includes ID or not. So this is our test case. Fine. So now let's go to terminal and run this test case. So in the terminal, I will mention how we can make K6 call. You have to write it like this. K6 run and then the test case name, which is post API dynamic payload. Fine. Now if I hit it, so you would see different names getting passed over here. You see in the payload, we have different names, which is getting passed. Every name is different over here. This is how you can create a dynamic data and pass it in your payload. So this is useful when you have unique fields in your API in your payload and you want to make a call. So this way you can create a dynamic data. So over here we can see both the checks are passed. Our HTTP request failed is zero and the checks is hundred percent. That means this API is working fine with this much load and also our dynamic data is getting passed in the payload. So now let's say if you want to pass some Fix prefix also, you can do that as well. So what we will do, for example, if you want to pass prefix AB over here. So in that case, you can use it like this. So now this name will have AB as a prefix along with this random string. So what I will do, I will just reduce the virtual user so we don't put too much load on this API. Now let's rerun the test case. So if I run my test case again, so you see, this AB is added as a prefix along with your random string. Fine. So this way you can create dynamic data. And if you want to add some prefix or you can add some suffix also, and you can create your dynamic payload like this. Fine. This is the first approach. The second approach is using the faker library. So for that, what we will do, you have to import faker library like this. So just write over here, import faker. 
So from where to import, what you can do, you can just go to this website, which is cdnjs.com. In the library section, just go to Faker and you can just copy this URL and go to your test case and use it like this. So Faker JS library is a very famous library, which is used to generate the random data. So the best part about Faker libraries, because with this random string, you see, we have the random names getting generated, but with the Faker library, you can actually generate some meaningful names like first name, last name, or even email addresses also. So what I will do, I will just comment this name and we'll just create one more name. So now we will use the name module to pass the random data over here. So for that, I will use faker.name.findName over here. So what this will do, it will actually generate name, which will consist of first name as well as last name. So let's run the same test case and let's see now how it is generating the random data. Now I will rerun the same test case. And let me expand it. The name, which is first name and last name. So this is more meaningful name as compared to the previous one where we were using the random string. So this way you can actually use different modules also from Faker library to generate the random data. For example, if you have to generate email, you can do that also. So I will show you one sample for email address as well. So in the name, like this API does not have much validation. So we can also pass email address over here. So for that, you have to use the internet module, pass it like this, internet dot email. So now let's rerun the same test case. And now we will see in case of in the name, we are having email address, which is randomly getting passed. So let me clear the terminal and rerun the same test case. So now if I scroll up, you will see over here payload. We are generating the random email using Faker library. I'm not passing anything over here. This is getting dynamically passed. So you can see this email address, which is getting passed over here and same is getting passed in the response also. So using these two approaches, you can actually pass the dynamic data and make a post call in K6. So if you want to read more about this utility function from the K6, you can just go to their official website and read more about it. So just go to this utils section of K6. So here they have multiple functions available. If you want to generate random number also, you can use random int, you can use a random item, random string. If you want to generate some UUID also, that also you can use. So they have multiple functions available over here. You can explore more and they have also provided some sample example. If you want to read more about it, you can check that. Fine. So this is how you can, can generate dynamic payload and use it in K6. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you like the content. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are learning K6. There are more interesting videos which I'll be uploading soon. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.